What is going on, my fellow boxing fans? We had a very entertaining triple header last night. Two fights were one-sided and quick, and the main event was highly entertaining. Tank Davis and Jesus Cuellar surprised me a bit. I thought it would be a way more competitive uh, fight, but Tank Davis dominated Cuellar, landing uppercuts, his timing, his speed. Uh, Tank Davis was really sharp, and when Tank Davis is in shape, discipline and focused he is really sharp and talented the way he would quickly dodge to the left and right and automatically hit uh Cuellar with uppercuts i mean it was really beautiful his timing was superb and uh and davis has the potential to be a future pound pound for pounder and as of right now i'd pick him to defeat ryan garcia i know there's been some talks among fans and their desire to see that fight but I don't think Garcia is ready. Garcia has physical talents like speed and power, but he keeps his chin up way too high, and I see Tank Davis knocking it down. Now the second fight, Jamal Charlo, uh, Jamal Charlo, excuse me, Jamal Charlo versus Hugo Centeno, and wow, that was an explosive performance by Jamal Charlo. Charlo is a middleweight threat, my people. And I know Triple G is the man at middleweight. He is the champion with most of the belts. And he should be recognized as the man at middleweight. But Charlo just might be the best middleweight. And all he needs is the opportunity and the fights to prove it. So let's see the fights happen. Let's see how good Jamal Charlo really is. And as for the main event, Brona versus Vargas. Now that fight was way more entertaining than I was expecting. I expected Broner to win this fight in a similar but not as a dominating fashion as his win over Antonio DeMarco was. But um, still, it was an entertaining fight. Um, the way I saw it, the way I predicted it, I thought Broner was going to win. I thought uh, if Vargas attempted to box, I thought Broner was just going to pot shot his way to a decision. But if Vargas attempted to be a come forward volume puncher, then I thought Broner was going to hit him with numerous counter uppercuts. But no, the fight was much better than I expected the first half. Vargas, who has improved over the years, was throwing that stiff and well-timed jab, keeping Broner at a distance, keeping Broner's offense at bay. And, you know, every now and then he would throw straight rights to the body, straight rights to the head, and not everything landed. Some shots were blocked, but some shots did land and break through Broner's uh, guard. Now, in the second half, Broner started to let his hands go more. He caught his rhythm. Uh, he started to land some really clean shots, and Vargas started to look winded. And there were a lot of moments throughout the fight that both fighters were going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It was a really entertaining fight. It, it could have gone either way. I scored it 115-114 for Vargas. I had it six rounds to five, and I scored that last round even. So a draw was a perfectly fine outcome. It was close. Could have gone either way. But I, I had it one point for Vargas, but a draw was an okay decision it was it was it was fine it, it was probably the right decision because both fighters came in to fight and it was a very entertaining fight now for the future for Broner well Broner is still alive in the welterweight division um he is uh still a player and uh you know he's still gonna get a big fight he is Broner he still does outlandish things outside of outside of the ring so his name is still gonna be out there and I'm sure he's gonna get another fight um, but still, he's not the same fighter that he was perceived to be before the Maidana fight, but he's still a player in the division. And Vargas, you know, Vargas is, he keeps coming up short against his biggest fights, but still Vargas is going to get some big fights as well. He's still, he's still going to have his name out there and you know what? Props to both fighters for making a good fight. All right. This was my little quick thoughts on uh, last night's triple header until next time. Goodbye and adios. And if you have yet to subscribe, Please do so. Goodbye.